So obligations of judges. This is something I'm very passionate about because I think this is the crux of being a judge. It's the ethical part of it. From my perspective, it's why I want, if we've got judges that uh, adhere to these obligations, then we're going to have good judges. And to me, I want good judges in a contest. I want to know that the judges that have been judging my the speakers have um, been giving it the complete and utter attention that they're judging ethically, they're judging as unbiased as possible, so that everything is fair and above board and everybody's got equal opportunity to advance. So where possible, I know, as I said, we are all human and we bring it to it. So from my perspective, a judge is a sort of obligation to the contestants. These contestants are putting their whole experience on the line. Some of them are freaking scared out of their wits because sometimes it's the first time they've done it. Um, they've put themselves out there. They've put a lot of effort into getting their speeches. So they, you are, you, they are entitled to a professional performance from each judge. They're entitled to expect that the judge will be judging them equally, giving due concept to what they're doing. Um, they, want, they expect complete fairness and impartiality, and they should not receive anything less. That means, people, if you've had a whopping huge, cranking big huge fight with your partner, your kids, or who, anybody else, you've, you've had road rage like unbelievable on the way to the contest. You, you've had crisis, the house is burnt down. Well, I suppose if the house is burnt down, you, you might have to excuse yourself. But whatever the crisis is, when you sit down to judge, that has to go away. It has to go away. It doesn't matter what's happening. You've got to be there for the next hour that you're judging that contest. You have got to be there and be concentrating fairly and impartially for each speaker. Now, if there's six speakers, I know it can become tiring but you should be giving the same concentration to the last speaker as you did to the first speaker, as you did to number four or number five. This is your responsibility for a judge. Now, I know I'm really sounding passionate about it and really being on top, but to me, this is one of the things that, if you want to be a judge, this is what you are signing up for, people. That's, that's your responsibility. And if you feel you can't do that, well, I'm going to tell you right now, do not judge because you are not bringing all of your 100% to this contest. You are being unfair to your contestants. Now, you've got a responsibility to the organization. We have a reputation in Toastmasters for excellence. Bad judging, that can tarnish the reputation. And I know, I've heard it, I've been there, I've, I've seen results where, you know, you know, as a chief judge, when you've been doing, when we used to do a lot of debriefing, I've sat there and heard some of the debriefing from the judges and I've thought, hmm, we are not being responsible to what we do. And I've had to keep my mouth shut a lot on some of that. But bad judging, it, it's, it's, it's bad for the contest, the officials and the organisers. You're being asked to give your complete attention for an hour, usually an hour at the most. You want to be a judge and you want to be held up to be a frequently good judge and you want to hold yourself up to being the best judge you can, then give your attention for that hour. There's not too much to ask. Not too much to ask. And if it is too much to ask, I'm going to say it again, don't judge. If you can't step up to the plate, don't judge. I know I'm being very black and white on that because it's something that I very passionately believe about. Because I think if we do all of this, then we are getting the best results that we can possibly get at that particular time. And that's what our obligation is. We have an obligation to the audience. They expect a good speech contest. Yeah, I don't know, it doesn't always work out because I said, you're gonna get people who have been there doing the evaluation part and saying, where the hell did that person come from? But you have an obligation to a good contest. So be there, make sure that you know, when you hear people say, well, how the hell did that person win? You can say to yourself, well, I gave my best, I judged by the criteria, I was as biased as I could possibly be, I am extremely happy and confident with what I did. And that's what you want to be able to walk away and say. So even though people in the audience 
but don't just say because then they're not knowing and not judging you can say to yourself i did this this is the level that i held myself to i met that level i even exceeded that level i am extremely comfortable with the results that were obtained and that's your responsibility to the audience and that brings me to the responsibility to ourselves we make a commitment to self-improvement to standing up doing something a bit outside the normal club by being a judge and that means we have a commitment to give the best of ourselves 130 percent best when we judge a contest when i am a judge at any contest i hold myself to these obligations and i'm 130 150 percent doesn't matter how sick i feel doesn't matter what's been happening in my personal life i've said yes to judging i will be there giving any respect to um, an apocalypse or something like that happening. Um, I can't get there. Um, maybe with COVID, we've got some issues with that. But I'm there because I said, yes, I was. So when I'm there, I'm giving 100% to what I do.